Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak and his deputy Tan Sri Mayuddin Yassin were among scores of people who paid their last respects to former Home Minister Tun Ghazali Shafi at his younger sister's residence at Damansara Utama here on Monday. Also present were International Trade and Industry Minister Datuk Mustafa Mohammad, several Deputy Ministers, the Chief Secretary to the Government Tan Sri Siddiq Hassan and Deputy Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Ismail Omar. Ghazali died in his sleep at 7.55 after performing Maghrib prayers at his house in Subang Jaya on Sunday night. He leaves behind two sons Bakhtiar and Sheriff Fudin and several grandchildren. His wife Topwan Katija Abdul Majid died in April 2008. Ghazali was born in Kuala Lipis, Pahang on March 22, 1922. He was often said to be a man who could surmount any challenge and defy all odds. In 1982, when the media predicted his death when the light aircraft he was flying in with two others crashed at Kampung Jandabai near Genting Highlands, Ghazali emerged almost unscathed after spending 28 hours in the dense Pahang forest. Ghazali was active in politics even during the era of Tunku Abdul Rahman, the country's first Prime Minister. Ghazali was also the permanent advisor of the Cobalt Commission that reviewed the opinion of the people of Sabah and Sarawak to join Malaysia. He served as the Information Minister in 1970 and Foreign Minister and Special Duties Minister when Tun Abdul Razak was Prime Minister. Ghazali, named King Gaz for his commanding personality, was laid to rest at Masjid Negara after the Zohor prayers on Monday. Charanjiko, The Star, Malaysia.